Previously on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Oh, nice. Oh my god! Are you alright? Bruh, are you are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Uh... Are you alright? From Hollywood, it's Jimmy Kimmel Live. Tonight, Chris Pratt. Plus music from Lucas and Micah Nelson with Cleto and the Cleto. And now, Jimmy Kimmel. Party. You know, the first round of, uh, if you follow football, you know, the first round of the NFL draft aired tonight here on ABC. A special welcome to those who watch it. And keep, to keep you interested in our show, every 20 minutes I'm going to announce a name and a college, and then I'll hand someone a hat. So it'll be fun. <laughs> the draft is funny. You know, we get our first look at the young men we'll be cursing at every Sunday. <laughs> the first ever NFL draft was held in Philadelphia. You know what year? 1936. A uh, scrappy young halfback named Joey Biden went in the fifth round <laughs> of the Scranton Malarkeys, and um, now he, he's in the White House. At so the White House today, and uh, well, everywhere, I guess, it was Take Your Kid to Work Day. The uh, president was on hand for a celebration, escorted by a tiny Secret Service detail. <laughs> These are children of White House employees and members of the press. They were there. You know, Trump actually was a big proponent of Take Your Kids to work day, so much so he put Jared in charge of peace in the Middle East. But <laughs> Grandpa Joe, as you know, has a different approach. He spent some time with the kids, he's very nice, and uh, even let him do a little Q&A. What do I say? Whatever you want to say, you want to make a speech? Uh, yes. What's your name? Yuri. Did you have a question? Yeah. You want to tell me what it is? Where's Hunter? Where the f is Hunter? Can't answer that one. Well, it sounds like that child has been watching Newsmax or something. <laughs> Last night, the Bidens hosted a state dinner for the president of South Korea, who not only was he the guest of honor, he was the musical entertainment, too. A long, long time ago. <laughs> I can still remember how the music used to make me smile. <laughs> And now I knew if I had my chains that I could make those people dance and maybe they be happy for a while. Hold on, there are only eight minutes left to go. Something touched me deep inside the day wow. the music died. <laughs> How about that? I, I, I drove my Kia to the levee. Doesn't quite have the same ring, but I, I like that. I think every world leader should be required to sing. Sadly, we'll probably never get to find out what Tucker Carlson had to say about that. You know, there are a lot of new details about what may have led to Fox News suddenly parting ways with Tuck. According to the New York Times, the day before the D Dominion De defamation trial was supposed to start, the Fox board of directors learned about more covert Tucker Carlson texts that were peppered with highly offensive and crude remarks directed at executives. These texts were said to be so offensive, Fox didn't know whether to fire Carlson or to give him another hour on primetime. <laughs> it's easy to forget how much Tucker Carlson has accomplished over his career. You know, he's been fired by Fox, CNN, MSNBC, and PBS. That's like the EGOT of cable news. <laughs> That's called the EGOT fired is what it is. Did you know I forgot he worked for you? He know he got fired by PBS. He called Big Bird a gay chicken and they had to let him go. <laughs> but Punk's a scrawny Phil emerged from his hole last night with a video message addressing his fans. Good evening, it's Tucker Carlson. One of the first things you realize when you step outside the noise for a few days is how many genuinely nice people there are in this country, kind and decent people, people who really care about what's true and a bunch of hilarious people also. Oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> glad you've been enjoying the stuff we did about you, but please, go on. The other thing you notice when you take a little time off is how unbelievably stupid most of the debates you see on television are. 
They're completely irrelevant. They mean nothing. I agree. Wait until you hear about this guy named Tucker Carlson. <laughs> you are going to hate him. The undeniably big topics, the ones that will define our future, get virtually no discussion at all. War, civil liberties, emerging science, demographic change, corporate power, natural resources. Right, right. The big topics, the important subjects like these. Well, it turns out leprechauns exist not just on cereal boxes. There are a lot of people who believe they have seen a leprechaun. Now it faces an even more profound threat, zombie raccoons. Honestly, how much emotional support does a snake provide? The DOJ can tell you precisely how many Qurans were burned last year in the United States, but they don't keep track of Christmas trees. It's a mask with a hole in the middle for your mouth. We call them, less poetically, man boobs. And you got the best set in the business, Tucker. You really do. Man boobs should be the name of his next show. This video, I don't know, it looks like he made it while waiting for a table at the Cracker Barrel. Where can you still find Americans saying true things? There aren't many places left, but there are some, and that's enough. As long as you can hear the words, there is hope. Oh, my goodness, even his hair was a lie. The big surprise in Washington today was former Vice President Mike Pence testified in front of the special counsel grand jury about his conversations with Trump surrounding January 6th. Trump tried to fight this. So did Pence. Trump argued that their conversations were protected by executive privilege. Uh, Pence argued they were protected by white privilege. But the court said <laughs> no to both of those things. And so Pence was forced to talk. I'm sure that was humiliating, having to tell a jury about all the times you were threatened with a bottle of ketchup by your boss. But <laughs> Pence testified. He was in there for seven hours, which is Definitely the longest anyone's ever been able to listen to Mike Pence. And that's just the insurrection hearing. Trump is also on trial for rape right now. And even worse, he had to sit down for an interview with Don Jr. today. Well, first of all, I can't believe I'm being interviewed by my son. <laughs> I've had Barbara Walters. I've had everybody. And now it's my son. And I think it's great. And congratulations, because your show or podcast, whatever you nowadays call these things, He's doing incredibly well, He's I doing hear. doing well. Remember in one of his books, he wrote about how he didn't want to name him Don Jr. because what if he grows up to be a loser? <laughs> well, mission accomplished, I guess. <laughs> Just before his appearance on the Ding Dong Show, Trump made a campaign stop in Manchester, New Hampshire, where we slowed him down to half speed for another edition of Drunk Donald Trump. Ah, should I do it? Ah. I'm gonna do it! <laughs> Don't worry, he's gonna be... They say he's gonna be okay. Not all the news is bad, you know. Here's some good news. The number of Americans who smoke cigarettes is at an all-time low. According to a new government study, only one in nine adults are smokers now. Apparently, the only Americans still smoking are Beth on Yellowstone and my Aunt Chippy in Las Vegas. <laughs> I have a theory on this. It's not that Americans are, it's not that we're smoking less. They're just smoking so much pot, it's hard to make time for cigarettes. You just don't have the space in your mouth. Right, Guillermo? Where's Guillermo? From Hollywood! It is your favorite show. It is the best show. It is the Guillermo show. And now, here is your host, Guillermo! Hola! 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 Welcome to my show, the Guillermo Show. Are you ready to LOL? Did you hear Joe Biden announce he's running for president again? What an old guy. <laughs> Did you hear about Melania? No. Me neither. No one hear about her in weeks. <laughs> Did you hear Americans are smoking less? The only people still smoking in America are bet on Yellowstone and on Chippy. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. oh, hold on a second. Oh, camera. I did that joke like a minute ago. Are you stealing my jokes? <laughs> yeah, but according to Nosotros Weekly, I told it better. <laughs> Be 
before we get started, I want to say thank you to my sponsor. The Guillermo Show is brought to you by Zippers. Zip it up. Please say hello to my band. Hello, band. <laughs> Do you know what time it is? What time is it? It is time for my first guest. He's fast. He's fierce. And he is in fuego. Please welcome Mr. Ben Diesel. <laughs> You've been in so many movies. Hang on a second. Hold on a minute. Before did you booked Vin Diesel on your show. Uh, are you Vin Diesel? Yeah, I think so. Then yes, I booked Vin Diesel. Okay, well that is this is this is my show. I would have liked to have booked Vin Diesel for our, you know in here. I would like a lot of things too. Oh well. Oh. Thank you for being here, Mr. Vin Diesel. Oh, it's my pleasure. My pleasure. What it's like to be strong. You know who I would ask? My daughter, Pauline. Yeah. Uh, you got Vin so, Diesel and his daughter? Yes, What's it like here? to be strong? It's like being a diesel. It's like being a diesel. Oh, oh wow! Yeah! Okay, Mr. Ben Diesel, it is time to play Vin, lose or draw? is brought to you by Bottoms, a zipper alternative. Are you ready to play? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a picture here, okay? Okay. If you guess where it is, I win whatever is in Business's pocket, okay? <laughs> Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's play. could buy that house we always wanted. <laughs> okay, what do you win? Well, listen, okay? All right, listen. Camo. Yes, sir. You're supposed to, you won what's in his pocket. Okay, um, I have tickets to tonight's Guardian of the Galaxy's premiere! <laughs> Oh, you're sending Guillermo's audience to the Guardians of the Galaxy premiere? The Guardians of the Galaxy premiere tonight. What about, what about my audience? Um, be, be, you've been in so many movies, right? Yeah. And hey, you have a new movie right now, right? Yes. Can you uh, uh, tell us about your movie? I can. <laughs> so, so Guardians of the What? I'm sorry. That's all the time we have. Show was sponsored by Velcro. If you can't work a zipper, try Velcro. Oh my 